Hi, superstars. It is time for math. We are on lesson 11-1, creating sets to 19. You've learned how to find the number of objects in a set. You're going to use counters and 10 frames to help you find numbers greater than 10 in different ways in this lesson. A group of objects that belong together can be called a set. Now we have these two 10 frames. This is what we call a double 10 frame. You've learned to use 10 frames to show numbers. A double 10 frame is like a 10 frame, but it's used to show numbers greater than 10. Let's work on a problem. Let's look at our mat here. Aisha wants to make a set of 17. How can she make a set of 17 counters? So we want 17. So I'm gonna write the number 17 here. Okay. Let's put in some counters in our top 10 frame. How many counters are there? 10, how did you know that? Because the 10 frame is filled. Okay, I'm gonna add some counters down here in our bottom 10 frame. All right, how many counters are in this bottom 10 frame? Seven. All right, let's count them so you know. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. How many counters are there in all? Both 10 frames. 17. Now we can count them. We know that there are 10 over here. So we start from 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. So remember what we learned about number sentences. How can we write the set of 17 as a number sentence using the number 10? 10 and seven is 17. So what numbers would we write if we counted on from 10? So if we counted on from 10, I will put it up here. So we have 10. What would we count on from 10 to 17? We would count 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. So Always start at 10. We do not have to start at one, two, three, and so on. We always start counting from 10, and then we go on to whatever number we need. Okay, let's do 18 now. So if I have the number 18 and I wanna show it in these two 10 frames, what do we do first? We first fill up our first 10 frame, one. Now remember, we don't have to count this because we know that if we fill up this 10 frame, that how many counters are there? 10. So we start from 10. How many more do we need to get to 18? Well, remember 10, 11, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So how would that number sentence go? 10, this is 10, right? Remember we have 10 counters here. How many do we have in this second 10 frame? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight over here. So 10 and eight is 18. Let's turn our paper over. Let's look at our first box right here. What number is on the card? 12. How can you make 12 by using 10 frames? Well, let's look over here. So how many counters did Aisha put in the top 10 frame? 10, right? Because we know it's 10, it's filled up. How about the bottom 10 frame? How many counters did she put? Two. All right, so what does Aisha do next? She added 10 and two. What does her addition sentence show? 10 and two is 12. We can say 10 plus two equals 12. So how many counters are there in all? 12, right? 12 counters in all. Let's look at our third box here. Okay, how many counters does Salman and Aisha put in the top 10 frame? How many are there here? 10, how about in the bottom? Two, right? So what did Salman do next? He started with 10 and he counted on 10, 11, 12. So how many counters are there in all? 12. All right, let's look at our last box up here. Okay, did Aisha and Sedman count every counter to find out how many in all? No. What did Aisha do? If we look over here, she added, remember 10 plus two is 12. What did Sedman do? What did he do here? He counted on. So why did they get the same number? Well, there are different ways to make the same set. Let's look at the first problem here. Let's lift our paper up so we can read the instructions together. Okay. We are on number one. It says have children draw counters in the double 10 frame to show the number on each number card. Then have them show the number on the number card by counting on from 10 and completing the number sentence. So if we look at our first one, what number is that? 14. So, you're going to draw in your counters on your double 10 frame. So what do we do first? We fill in our top 10 frame. One, oops, that's hard to see. Let's go back. So you fill this in. Remember, we fill in the first 10 frame. We don't have to count it. 
because we know that when we fill it up, there are 10 there. So if we have 10, we need 11, 12, 13, and 14. Okay, so now they want you to count on from 10. So we start at 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So that's one way getting to 14. Then we are going to show the number by completing the number sentence. So we have 10 and, remember and also means plus, four, so 10 and four or 10 plus four is, remember what is means equals 14. So 10 plus four equals 14 or 10 and four is 14. Let's go to number two, we have 12. So we fill in our 10 frames. Remember, we're gonna fill in the top one because it's more than 10. So we know that we can fill in the top 10 frame. 10, 11, 12, right? So we start with 10 and we count on. 10, 11, 12. Now we're going to do a number sentence. 10 and two is how many? 12. 10 and two is 12. Let's look at number three now. We have 15 on our number card. All right, let's fill in our 10 frames. We fill in the top one because our number is greater than 10. So we're gonna fill in the top 10 frame with which we know is 10. Now, how many do we put in our bottom 10 frame? We start from 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So let's start up here. We're gonna count on. We start at 10. What's after 10? 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Now we can write a number sentence. 10 and how many, how many counters are here? 10 and five is 15. So we got to 15 two ways. We counted on and we wrote a number sentence. Okay, last one, number four. We're looking for number 13. Let's fill in our 10 frames. So we're gonna fill in the top one because we know how many counters go in the top one when it's full without counting. 10, so we count on 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, let's fill in our first line here. We're gonna count on 10, 11, 12, 13. Now we want to make our number sentence. 10 and how many? How many is down here? Three. 10 and three is 13. Very good. Good job, superstars. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye.